Wouldn't it be amazing if you could walk into any Zoom room and ad hoc dynamically join any single Microsoft Teams meeting? I'll show you how to do it next. So if you aren't familiar with what direct guest join is, it's the ability for Zoom rooms to join Microsoft Teams meetings and for Microsoft Teams rooms to join Zoom meetings, either from a scheduled perspective, whether it's on your calendar and you join from there, or now with the version 5.13.0 that we just deployed, you can now ad hoc join Microsoft Teams meetings as well as WebEx meetings. I'm gonna show you how to set it up one and then demo it for you too. So the first thing I did was upgrade my Zoom room. In order to do that, you go to the Zoom admin portal you go to room management, you go to your Zoom room. My Zoom room's called home office. I click on that and I've upgraded to 5.13.0. To do that, you can either dip, click on the check marks, upgrade the OS and upgrade the upgrade Zoom rooms portion. That'll get you to the latest offering. Okay, now that you have your Zoom rooms upgraded to 5.13.0, you can now enable direct guest join from the Zoom portal. To do that, you go back to the Zoom portal, you go to, to room management, you go to Zoom rooms, then you go to meetings and then you scroll down until you see Zoom meeting interoperability right here. Support interoperability for Zoom rooms. Toggle that on. Now you're going to have additional choices. One, support Microsoft Teams web meetings and then show the icon on the home screen as well as show the WebEx icon on the home screen as well. What this allows you to do is put those two icons, a Microsoft Teams meeting as well as a WebEx meeting on the display itself of the Zoom room. So when any user walks into the Zoom room, they can dynamically click that button, either one, and join a Microsoft Teams meeting or a WebEx meeting just knowing the meeting ID. We're going to show you that next. In case you didn't know this already, you could launch the control pad from a web browser that a user would see when they walk into the Zoom room. To do that, go to the Zoom room that you want to control, go all the way to the ellipsis, and then launch controller. It's gonna actually to launch the web version of the controller. Here's what it looks like if I were to walk into a Zoom room. Here's exactly what the display looks like. And now that we've toggled those two things on and turned on all interoperability, as well as upgraded our Zoom room to 5.13.0, look what I got. Microsoft Teams, as well as WebEx. When you create a Zoom meeting and or a Microsoft Teams meeting, there's two parts of the information that you need to pass on to other users so they can join your meeting, either from a Zoom room or a Microsoft Teams room. One, meeting ID. Two, the password. To get that, I've actually already joined a Microsoft Teams meeting. If I go to more and I go to meeting info, at the middle it says meeting ID and passcode. Now, if you give that information to the user that's going to the Zoom room, or if you've invited that user to a, the Microsoft Teams meeting, that information is in the invite in their calendar. We need that information to join from the Zoom room. I'll show you how to do that next. So now that we have the meeting info and the password, we can be any user, walk into any Zoom room and join that Microsoft Teams meeting right from the Zoom room controller. Here's how to do it. Obviously, click on the Microsoft Teams room icon. It's gonna ask you for the meeting ID. I'm gonna paste that right in here. It's gonna ask me to join. And then it's gonna ask for the password. I just copied and pasted the password. Now, okay. It's joining the meeting from the Zoom room. So once the user has typed in the, uh, the meeting ID and, and password, it launches the Zoom room into the Microsoft Teams meeting. You can clearly see on the other side of the room, I do have a Zoom room set up with a panel in the bottom right hand corner. It's the same panel you're looking at on the screen. My camera is actually pointing at the, the Microsoft Teams room screen and joining that Microsoft Teams room experience. I've just gone into the Microsoft Teams room lobby. Now for my Microsoft Teams client, I have to admit the Zoom room into the meeting and I'll do that right from here. So now that I've hit admit to that user, it's gonna launch that Zoom room into a Microsoft Teams meeting. You can clearly see my face is now on the screen of the Zoom room and the Zoom room is on the screen of my Microsoft Teams client. I can br actually bring that over for you right now so you can see what the experience of the Microsoft Teams users look seeing. So this is the view from the Microsoft Teams client. Obviously, when you're on the Microsoft Teams client, you're looking at the other side. So this user on the left is looking at the Zoom room. I'm the Zoom room looking at me as the user in the bottom right hand corner. And now we've really, from a Zoom room, we've joined a Microsoft Teams meeting just with the meeting ID and the password. So that's it. You've literally watched me walk through how to upgrade a Zoom room to 5.13.0. You've watched me how to configure a Zoom room for direct guest join. You've watched me join a Microsoft Teams meeting from a Zoom room, and you've seen what it looks like from the Zoom room side, as well as the Microsoft Teams side. The experience is kind of similar on the other side. Should you have Microsoft Teams rooms and you need to join Zoom meetings, I'm gonna show you that demo 
in my next video. I am a distinguished architect for Zoom. I am not a figurehead or spokesman for Zoom by any means. The views of this video are solely my own. I just wanted to show the power of Zoom rooms and the direct guest join experience for end users as well as administrators. If you found this video helpful, hit like. Even better, comment below. Even better than that, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. Have a great day.